We don't want people's houses to burn down. We don't want people to die from carbon monoxide poisoning. We don't want these things to happen. We can prevent them. That's an important message because as temperatures cool, it is that time of year to talk home heating safety. Unfortunately, every winter someone's house will go up in flames because of home heating appliances. Sometimes it's faulty equipment or appliances that aren't properly maintained. In any case, there are ways to prevent those fires. KTVB's Gretchen Parsons spoke with the experts and joins us live with some good safety tips. Well, Dee, of course, there's a lot of ways to heat your home, including a gas fireplace, a furnace, or, of course, a space heater as well. And they're all good ways to keep warm, but each one can pose its own uh, fire safety risk. So I talked to the experts, and I found out the yeah. best practices to avoid that outcome. Yeah. About half of all of our home heating fires start in December, January, February. So, uh, you know, October and November is a great time to really start to be prepared for that. Boise Fire Deputy Chief Romeo Gervais says being prepared means calling a professional once a year to get your appliances checked out, even if you just moved into a brand new house. This includes a chimney sweep. If the masonry is kind of falling apart or failing, what it can do is allow that heat and that um, some of that smoke and stuff to get into the, uh, the wooden frame of your house and actually catch it on fire. And we see that happen you know, usually a couple few times a year. To make sure it's not been plugged up by squirrels or birds or or soot or whatnot to make sure that it's going to be safe. Michael Sweet with Capital City Heating and Cooling says getting furnaces inspected is just as important. I was uh, just at a customer's house yesterday and he swore up and down he needed a new furnace and he did not, but he, it would not run. So we grabbed the wire a little bit and I pulled on it and he had a short inside his wall that was burning the inside of his wall that he never saw, never smelled and it was a short on the high voltage line. And if you use a space heater, keep a three feet clear zone around it to prevent it from catching fire. Make sure that they have electric space heaters that when they fall over, they shut off. Space heater plugged directly into an outlet, not into an extension cord. Oftentimes we can overload those extension cords if we plug space heaters into them. A working smoke detector and carbon monoxide meter could also save your life in the event your house does catch fire. Getting that maintenance done early and um, at least once a year is, is a good idea. Also, heating lamps for chicken coops or even pet reptiles like snakes and lizards, those can also be a hazard just like the space heater. So be mindful of what those heaters are up against. Make sure you have a little buffer zone so they're not burning anything. Back to you, Dee. Well, you hope a story like this maybe saves a life or saves a home. It would be great if everybody could get on board with that. Thanks yeah. a lot, Gretchen.